Welcome back guys and in this video we will see three problems that cause MySQL to unexpectedly shut down and we will see how we can solve those problems. So the first problem is data corruption, the second is port conflicting issues and the third is XAMPP not having the correct or elevated privileges to write or read from the specific folder that MySQL uses. So alright, let's jump into the solutions. The first one was data corruption. Now if you're not sure what the problem is, let's just start by going to this explorer this opens the XAMPP's default directory if you don't already know and we have this open now you go to the MySQL folder here now as you can see here XAMPP already takes a backup backup of our databases and our live data is in this folder so what you can do is first of all uh, instead of directly copying things from backup to data first make the copy of data folder so that you don't uh, lose any data and let's just rename this and let's call it old now go inside your backup folder copy everything come inside this data and call, paste everything and you can just replace everything that's in here okay now once you've done this try starting your mysql again so as you can see mysql is running in port number 3306 now let's see if this stops okay i think this is not stopping it is working well so all right now if you have that problem you can do that this now another tip is uh sometimes copying everything from the backup folder to the database folder does not work in that case what you can do is let me just stop oh, it's, it's already stopped so uh i had already stopped it <laughs> and in case in that case if your zap is still not running instead of copying everything leave these folders and just copy these things all right uh, let's copy the initialized files also let's copy just these things and paste it into the data folder replace them and then try starting in starting this all right so as you can see this is starting again so this is the first solution you can just copy things from backup to your data folder and it should start working now the second problem is port issues all right so sometimes the port that mysql uses by default that is the port 3306 might be used by some other database services so in that case you can go to my.ini file here and change this to something else let me change it to 307 and let me close this let me start this again still running in 306 I am not sure why I just changed this to 307 right okay oh my apologies not this you need to change the port here in my SQLD not in the client so you know we make mistakes <laughs> okay now change the port here in my SQLD save it and stop the database and start this again and now it's running in 307 so if you have conflicting ports you can change the port in your my.ini file and remember change it in the mysqld section don't make the same mistake that I did all right the third part is administrator privileges so in some cases you might not be the administrator and when you run zap as a user the user might not have privileges to write or read data from the mysql folder so in that case what you can do is close it go to your start bar write zamp and run this as an administrator okay so if you run it as an administrator it will have administrator privileges and it will be able to write to the mysql folder now you just start it and if it was a privileges problem you will be able to run it all right now i hope uh, some of these three tricks solved the problem if it did not and one tip is to check what your problem actually is so what you see here might not be all the story so in that case you can go to logs and check your mysql error log and uh, this will help you to figure out what the exact cause of your issue is now as you can see here this is what should happen when your mysql is working properly a server socket should be created on ip uh, ip this is ipv6 of local host all right now these are the things that should be happening and in case your uh, mysql server is crashing after this 
just see what the issue is and if you cannot solve it google it or do whatever and if you're still having problems let me know in the comment section below